In Matthew 18, the disciples asked Jesus, which one of us is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He shocked them with his answer. Unless you are converted and become like children, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. The disciples were struggling with a problem they did not recognize. They were living under the lie that they could be as God, that they could be strong, wise, and self-sufficient. They had forgotten that only God was great because only God is God. They needed to convert, change the way they were thinking, and embrace that they were children before Him. If they failed to do so, they would not experience the kingdom they were already in through faith. By the way, this was not just their problem, it's ours as well, and it comes with disastrous consequences. God designed us to live from Him, our loving Father, in a childlike relationship. When we do, He becomes our supply and meets all our needs. Like water flows from a faucet and fills a cup, we can be filled to the brim with Him. No longer empty, we can finally stop trying to control and manipulate each other and live in an adult community of harmony and peace. But when we reject that childlike relationship with God and live like we are God, we will find ourselves in an adult relationship with Him. Living as His equal, we'll be trusting ourselves instead of Him to supply our needs. This will leave the cup of our lives empty, and if there's one thing an empty cup wants to do, it's get full. This will force us into childlike relationships with one another, vying for attention and selfishly seeking to get our needs met at the expense of others. We will be a community of children, like a giant nursery filled with screaming babies who think life is all about them. Like ticks without a dog, we will find ourselves isolated and unfulfilled. Jesus said we need to convert. That's the Greek word strepho, which means to turn. We need to turn from thinking we can be adult with God. We need to reject the lie that we are great and be children with our God, who alone is great. Ironically, the word strepho is the root of our word catastrophe. When we make life all about us and fail to live with Him as our source, we'll forfeit all that He longs to supply to us. We'll wind up empty, unable to live the full and fruitful lives He longs for us to have. Demanding that we have all the attention, we will fail to express the true nature of God to the world, and that is the greatest catastrophe of all. We need to reverse our course and learn to be children again. We need to see all of life through the eyes of a child. We need to embrace our weaknesses as assets because they force us to get help from the one who is bigger, stronger, and wiser than we are. And our strengths? We need to see them as liabilities because they can steer us towards self-sufficiency and keep us from seeing our need for God. We must never forget that faith is born out of need, and God stands ready to meet all our needs, if only we would own up to how needy we really are. The world grew us into adulthood. Now it's time for us to allow the Holy Spirit to grow us back down to childhood with our Heavenly Father, so we can experience all that He is personally and express Him powerfully to the world through the supernatural life He will live in and through us. When it comes to our relationship with God, let's all become children again.